Good afternoon, YouTube. How you guys doing? Um, this is Mini back, and what you have in front of you is a very old build. Um, we have a new guy to YouTube. Uh, he's been on Instagram for a while. His name is Iceman Collections. Um, a few of other channels have talked about him already. If you guys haven't went over there and checked him out, go check him out. Um, he posts a lot of stuff on Instagram. Um, he also has a, a, a eBay page where he sells model kits and model related stuff. Um, I'm sorry, Iceman. I do not um, post or follow much on Instagram. Um, most of my hobby is kept here on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, it just it's easier for me to post on those and the Instagram. I just never grabbed a hold of yet um, I don't know if I'll venture over to there, but most of the times I post enough on Facebook and on YouTube that I Don't want to spend my whole day posting on all kinds of media sites, but here in front of you guys is a Chevy Blazer um, Iceman is working on two of these he has one that he's building, an off-road. It's yellow. It's got some weathering done to it. It's looking really good. And Iceman is also building a slammed version. Um, this is one I've done from an original Boondockers kit from AMT. Um, I built it in 1999. Uh, in the 1999. In December of 2000, it was... Here's the magazine. In December of 2000, it was featured, well, it had a spot in the Model Cars magazine. It had a, a, a feature in the Model Cars magazine. Let's see if that will focus right there. It was on page 39 right there and um it's a fairly old build like i said i built it in 99 so let's that put it down around 17 years old um it's showing its age now you can see the the clearest fallen um this right here was when i was just started uh eh, maybe a little later than that using the automotive clears but i was using thinner instead of reducer to thin them out and what happens when you use thinner versus a reducer it gasses out and falls down um, I was just going for the different designs and stuff back then trying to you know get myself into doing patterns and stuff like that and I didn't really focus back then on wet sanding and polishing um, you can see the flocking is is way different than what I do now the seat belts were painted in on the ribbon instead of using the photo etch um, still has some of my little trick details that I was using way back then um, this right here is in desperate need of an overhaul um, I just I never bought the the, the uh, re-release here last year the crew chief or whatever I never picked it up um, I should I should do that and leave this one alone just for the history behind it and, and it's been in the magazine but the wheels are from an Alter Nomad kit um, the front end I did a roll pan on it ver I did the roll pan version on it and then the grill and you can see the chrome and stuff's coming off the grill it really needs updated but um, back then and there's whatever that is never filled the hole up under the hood but i did try to do some detailing to it way back then you can still see i used the chrome elastic stuff that they use uh you know for like costumes i just use that for braided hoses this is the motor out of the 67 uh amt impala uh the brake booster was out of the reveal uh well it's reveal now but it was the monogram monte carlo and then the you know just regular detailing and there's fuel injection wires and stuff in there and then underneath is like i used the a arms and stuff out of i forgot what this was out of i think it was the el camino the monogram el camino and the rear end is from um a monte carlo um 
the Ravel Monte Carlo but the exhaust was a Mustang <laughs> and you know I just tried to do some paint and details I was lucky when this was fresh and clean it looked really good and over the years it's starting to show all the ghost lining of the moldings and stuff that I'd sanded off but you know 17 years ago it was fresh um, the paint and stuff hadn't settled yet and I was clueless on how to cut my clear because all my paints I was cutting um, with thinner I thought my clear I could cut with thinner and over the years um, it gassed out and you can see the little you know hazy look in it and then you can see the fish eyes where you know it's been gassing out and then that's where it falls back but I was just showing um, Iceman um, an old relic um, showing him support um, I don't have the roof I couldn't tell you where the roof came went to but inside there you can see I had done the photo etched seat belts and it's got a photo etched radiated uh, ra radio um, steering wheel was out of the custom AMT 32 Vicky it was a pre-painted kit back then and I put the amps in there um, a nitrous bottle fire extinguisher bottle and it was you know I was not in my prime yet uh, if you guys have seen many other videos how much difference that I've changed um, just some other stuff on the bench while I got you guys down here um, here's my Mazda RX2 build that I'm still working on I've uh, been working on doing uh, custom bending some stuff for the roll cage myself I didn't like this molded in tail light panel so I have me some clear lights I found me some clear lights that were the right size so then I made me another made me my own little piece in there and um, been reshaping the bumpers I pulled the bumpers back in a little bit and started reshaping them um, the front is more done already um, I drilled out the molded in headlights on this and I took some uh, bejeweled um, I don't see where they are now I took some of these gemstones here from bejeweled and then I wet sanded them um, and I knocked all the edges down here's a set here's a different brand with bigger ones but you see how they're all you know they're beveled and stuff so all I did is wet sanded them down and then polished them off to make them round and you know brightened up the clear and um, not much done underneath just working on fitting this up into there and then here's your rear end and everything I had to narrow up the axle itself and I put another brace in there um, it's you know coming along a little bit and then mm, been working on this dash piece a little bit to try to get it to fit in the roll cage but, but that's about it what's going on the bench like I said this was just a, a quick little shout out to um, Iceman collections you guys go there and check him out um, so far it's only a few videos but like um, um, H-Town said you have to see the way this guy's organized his collection um, go over there um, check him out I will be back next week and let you guys know how my um, show went. I'm taking 11. Uh, I'm taking 11. 10 of them are going into full-blown competition. And the one of them is just for um, the club that has the show. They're doing a little, um, a little build just for uh, VWs, um, the Beetle. So everybody's going to build a beetle just for this little subclass. And here's the one I built. Um, I didn't do a whole lot to it. I wanted it to look all old and weathered. Um, I made the wheels myself using um, Revell Acura wheels. And then the, the, um, the rim itself I widened by using um, PVC pipe. And then sanded them out to get them to the, the direction I wanted to. Um, the club that's throwing on the show this weekend is called KC Slammers. So I made Slammer license plate put on the front. They are from Kansas, so I made a Kansas plate. Um, just a little. And then what did I do underneath here? I don't remember what I done underneath the hood. Let's see if I can't get the hood to open. 
and um, made me a little bracket to hold the hood up. I'm trying to, I was going to do a, a, a wooden, a wooden one, make it look like a broom handle, but I gave up on it. I did do um, a gas, the gas door, uh, the gas lid from um, a, a piece of watch part. And then on the made exhaust pipes, they stick out. And then on the engine, the engine I did a little bit more detail. Um, got some photo X for the pulleys. It's got uh, a, a um, aluminum distributor I put in it. It's been wired. Um, and that's j just about it. It's just a little fun class. Um, every, well, the last couple years, they've all picked, um, they've all picked, um, a subject to do um, I'm not in the club but I still build um, just like a little sub theme that they do and I used to be in the club for years um, got married moved away from the KC area um, so I wasn't able to attend the meetings and the shows and stuff like um, they had been doing and I just kind of like faded away from the club and um, but I still build I still that's the only show I attend to every year um, I pack up and travel over that way but that's about it guys just a little big chat date and um, shows you a little bit of where I was at on things I was doing um, give another shout out there to Iceman I can't wait to see your blazer done um, both of them and um, that's many this is a boring 12 minutes probably or a useless 12 minutes I should say so um guys just keep enjoying the hobby keep having fun and um, keep um, you know you guys find somebody new someone interesting let us know I wouldn't have known about Iceman collection if it wasn't for Freddy like I said I don't attend um, Instagram and Snapchat and some of this other stuff that you guys tend to basically I'm just on Facebook and um, YouTube but you guys have a great day um, keep up the good work Iceman and all my followers you guys keep building have questions you know you can ask and um, you guys talk to you when I talk to you see ya